Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. But before we discuss innovative solutions, we must first consider some of the harsh realities of teaching today. This episode is entitled, The Crumbling Foundation of the Educational System. The educational system, once a bastion of hope and promise, now stands as a crumbling edifice, its foundations eroded by a confluence of systemic issues that have rendered it ill-equipped to meet the demands of the modern world. From the crippling lack of funding and resources to the relentless pressure to teach to standardize tests, the challenges facing educators and administrators are multitudinous and daunting. At the heart of this crisis lies a dire shortage of resources, a pervasive scarcity that has left classrooms bereft of the tools and materials necessary for a comprehensive educational experience. Outdated textbooks, antiquated technology, and dilapidated facilities have become the norm, a stark reality that casts a long shadow over the aspirations of both students and educators alike. Exacerbating this resource crunch is the unrelenting burden of administrative oversight, a dark labyrinth of bureaucracy that has eroded the autonomy and creativity of educators. The specter of standardized testing looms large, a constant reminder of the reductive nature of the educational experience where complex concepts are reduced to multiple choice queries and critical thinking is sacrificed at the altar of rote memorization. In this climate of overbearing scrutiny and rigid adherence to prescribed curricula, the once noble profession of teaching has been reduced to a soulless exercise in box ticking, a joyless endeavor devoid of the passion and inspiration that once drew educators to the calling. The relentless cycle of administrative observations, evaluations, and performance metrics has transformed the classroom into a stage where educators are forced to perform a carefully choreographed routine divorced from the organic ebb and flow of authentic learning. The consequences of this systemic erosion have been far-reaching and devastating. The recruitment and retention of talented educators have become an uphill battle as the allure of the profession has been tarnished by relentless demands and diminished autonomy. Experienced teachers, disillusioned and demoralized, have fled the field in droves, leaving a void that has been filled by a revolving door of inexperienced and underprepared substitutes. Within the classroom walls, the challenges facing educators have become seemingly insurmountable. Discipline problems, fueled by disengaged and disruptive students, have transformed once nurturing learning environments into battlegrounds where the pursuit of knowledge is overshadowed by the constant struggle for control. The specter of violence and aggression has cast a pall over the educational experience, eroding the sense of safety and security that is the bedrock of effective learning. Compounding these issues is the pervasive apathy towards systemic change that has taken root within the teaching profession itself. A culture of complacency and resignation has taken hold, with educators resigned to the belief that meaningful reform is an impossible task, an endless endeavor doomed to failure. This defeatist mindset uh, has become a self-fulfilling prophecy, perpetuating the very problems it seeks to address. Beyond the classroom, the educational system finds itself embroiled in an adversarial relationship with the very communities it serves. The once revered status of educators has been eroded by a tide of mistrust and skepticism fueled by a growing disconnect between the realities of the educational experience and the expectations of parents and stakeholders. In this climate of mutual distrust and recrimination, the fundamental mission of education has been lost 
obscured by the cacophony of competing agendas and conflicting interests. The once hallowed halls of learning have become battlegrounds where the pursuit of knowledge has taken a back seat to the incessant struggle for resources, autonomy, and respect. As the foundations of the educational system continue to crumble, the future hangs precariously in the balance. The challenges facing educators and administrators are formidable, but the consequences of inaction are far more dire. It is not merely the fate of a single institution that hangs in the balance, but the very fabric of society itself. A society built upon the bedrock of knowledge, critical thinking, and the unwavering pursuit of truth. Again, I apologize for the negative tone of today's podcast, but innovation cannot occur without first examining the problems. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope we can innovate and improve your teaching practice together. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating,